Just, just her songs. Like the album, like girl. And again, anybody with insecurities, that shit not just gonna go away when you think. But like some of them songs, I'm like, come on, girl, uploads are like, yeah, like the one where she said uploads are no, you're not. Like come on now. Hey girl, my name is Tony Zarina, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm going to be attacking hair makeup fragrance and outfit well, as you can see i have already like kind of did my hair the only thing that i want to do is really my edges and then i'm going to get into my makeup i am going to go check out this nice elegant cafe that i found in fells point it's really cute it's called the ceremony coffee roasters it's really nice it's like elegant a little upscale like it's a really nice cafe and i have been really into the cafes and stuff lately i need to get some work done for my business i need to come up with a marketing plan and actually like write it down somewhere because i have not written it down anywhere and then i need to update my linkedin profile because I'm trying to get a new job. I'm trying to break into the corporate world for marketing. I really enjoy marketing. I really like the psychology of peoples. And I know that this isn't really beauty related, but this is kind of like a life update type thing. I've been making videos for about 10 months now. And I feel like you guys really don't know a lot about me. So I'm thinking about doing like an about me video. I also want to say thank you to every single person who has subscribed in like the last week, last two weeks. I posted that Shein shopping haul. I'm going to link it right here if I can. And y'all did y'all big one. Okay, so thank you to the... 50 plus new subscribers that I have that's so good because like I'm new like I'm fresh I'm a newborn oh I don't know if I'm meant to do that I know that the vibe that I want to go for overall is like you know chill kind of like an elegant vibe but like chill a little bit I don't really know what I'm gonna wear to be honest I kind of do want to fit into the scenery I will say that much. How do y'all feel about SZA's new album? I really have to ask this question. Okay, let me get down to it. Let me really get down to it. This album really wasn't bad. And I really haven't even listened to the whole album. I just heard like a few songs, you know, some songs that's trending. Then my friends will play some other songs like in the car and stuff. I feel like SZA's a little too old to be on that type of energy. I want her to give healthy because she is such a pretty girl and she deserves it. But she really just don't be giving healthy at all. And I'm not gonna lie. This album kind of makes me uncomfortable. I, I don't think I'm gonna ever fully listen to this album because it's just like out of the way. Like it's just like, girl, why are you so down bad all the time? Like, you too pretty for this. Like, why are you even dealing with guys that got you in these situations where you can make songs like this? Regardless, I'm about to rave about one of them songs. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to ring about one of these songs, okay? I know I just said all of that, but her song, Low, that's the one song where I'm like, okay, so good. I can give you a break on this because at least she's not so down bad, y'all. Like, at least she is not so down bad. But the song, Low, I was so happy when I heard it because I was like, girl, like, at least it don't sound like these niggas putting you in your place. Like, at least it sound like you putting these niggas in they place. Like, at least you telling him what the moves is. I was so happy for that song because I was like, yes, at least she doesn't give, like, straight down bad, woe is me type energy in this song. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's just how I feel. So, next. I didn't go to college and well, well I went to college but I dropped out. I know that I want to go back to school for marketing. I do have my own business with Stereo Crystals and I did have a business before that when I did makeup. I realized that I really like marketing. Well, I'm really happy about going back to school because first of all school content <laughs> like back to school content crazy. I haven't really watched a back to school video since I was in high school and I'm not 
gonna say that was a brick ago, but like considering how fast time flies once you leave high school, that was kind of a brick ago. I graduated right before the pandemic hit. I'm happy that I waited because now I can file as an independent on FAFSA and I would get so much more money. So I might not even have to come out of pocket like my first um, two or three years because I don't even know if I'm gonna be going full time, but I'm not really mad at that. I don't really know how I'm feeling about my makeup right now. Maybe I'm talking too much. I do want like a little foiler coverage look today. I haven't worn makeup in a little bit and I've been wanting to do my makeup for a few days. So I am gonna build this up a little bit more. I am going to be going back to school. Um, I have not applied for FASPA. I'm hoping to do that at this cafe either today or tomorrow. Um, I'm planning to go back there tomorrow because um, my boyfriend has a video and to edit and I told him about the place and he was like, oh yeah, that sounds like a good spot to like, you know, go chill. I'm gonna have some work to do, so I will definitely come along with you. I love my boyfriend. He's like my best friend. I think I'm talking too much because now I feel like I don't really know what to do about my makeup. That's so irritating. My nose definitely looks a little crooked, but... <laughs> yeah, my nose definitely looks crazy. Um, I can fix that later. Let's talk a little bit about the new year. So it's 2023. I personally think that 2023 is going to be a good year for like mostly everybody. Like, I don't think that I know one single person that came into the new year and they were like, yeah, I don't think that this is going to be a good year. Like, I think all of my peoples were like, oh, yeah, this is my year. Like, this is it. And I agree, I think this is my year too. I feel like my last like big year was 2020. Definitely got knocked down beginning of 2021. And then I spent the rest of 2021 and all of 2022 kind of just recovering, trying to get my life back together. There's nothing wrong about that because now I'm coming down to bust down some doors this year. I'm using this concealer, the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm almost done. As you can see, I've been using this concealer for probably about two years. I feel like even though I got a really nice tone, like I got a yellow tone, my skin, I'm very much um, yellow undertone type girl. I mean, even though I got the right shade, I feel like it just be giving ashy sometimes. Like I just, I don't know. So if you have any concealers that you use to highlight that you think are really good, that's not the LA girl concealers because i'm trying to get out of those as well please sound off in the comments and let me know what i should be trying because um i have not really like tried any new makeup since i was a makeup artist and i stopped being a makeup artist i think i stopped doing makeup in 2020 i don't know i don't think i'm gonna do a video on my experience as a makeup artist i think it's kind of irrelevant not so much because i do beauty on my channel i'm just gonna kind of give you a rundown of my experience as a makeup artist in Baltimore, Maryland, okay? I first started doing makeup, like my own makeup, and then I started doing prom makeup um, when I was still in high school. A girl that graduated like a year before me, I didn't know her while I was in school, which is kind of crazy, but she really like just hit me up to like work. And I was really excited because I had wanted to do some shoots. At the time I was thinking about applying for star faces here in Baltimore. I was more leaning towards soft glam. I really like the 80s makeup. So like, and I'll flash up some pictures up here so that you can see because I ain't got no reason to lie. So she hit me up. She was like, I really like your style of makeup. Came over to her house. She ain't lived too far away. That was crazy too. I brought some girlies that I knew and we, we did a shoot. It was my first shoot. I'm still friends with this girl. Her name is Timmy. I will actually plug her right here because she's a really good photographer. She's a really good artist. But let me tell you I stopped because that's really the juice work. I stop because people will book you and won't want to pay you. People will book you and then waste your time. People will ask to do photo shoots with you and then talk mad dirt about you. You hear the spiel that I'm giving like, I just stopped moving on to something else because I was like, yeah, these people are a little weird. I don't even know why these people come in like this. Like these people are very different. And so that's why I stopped. I stopped because, um, the people here fucking suck. Like they're just booty cheeks. People will still come to your house, drink your wine, pet your dog, chat it up with you, leave, get on your front porch after you close the door and say goodbye and start talking mad shit about you online. So, 
right now to bake, I am using the Select Sheer Loose Powder by MAC. I don't even know if they still make this anymore. This is so old. Um, Sheer Loose Powder. I love this to bake for my highlights. It's in the color NC30. I hope to God that they still have this because I really am gonna need to re-up soon. I wanna try reverse contouring. I've been seeing it a lot more online. And we're bringing it up to the ear because I'm not gonna lie, when I used to do this a few years ago, I used to like not bring it all the way back and like you could tell and it looks so weird. Like it looks so disgusting. So we don't do that anymore. We're just gonna speed through the end of this makeup and then we're gonna get to hair and then we'll do outfit and fragrance, okay? Okay, I'm done to makeup. This is the final look, you know. I'm looking really cute, right? When I put them lashes on y'all, like that was it, okay? The lashes and the lips really does it, okay? That's that, said, I'm gonna back you up. We're gonna take out my hair and then we're gonna get on to the outfit and the fragrance because I gotta, <laughs> okay, edges? late i don't know what's going on up here i hope that that's not too clockable if you clocking me up there maybe you should stop looking but as you can see it's coming together this is like my og style like i don't think i'm ever going to get sick and tired of this style ever as long as i have locks like it's giving like i'm here let me show you the retwist y'all and yes, this is a retwist or micro locks. I do not retie. I started off retying, but that shit is late. It's tired. It's for the birds. Like, girl, if you can do it, God bless you. <laughs> it ain't me. This is face and hair, you know. I feel like myself now. Not whoever the hell came on here at first. So let's get into the outfit and the fragrance. I have on this little corset top. It's um, long sleeve. I think I got this from H&M a few years ago. This little sweater ting to keep me warm while I'm there. Really cute. I'm wearing um, the brown maxi skirt from Marcian Hall. You can't really see it, but I will do it. Right here so that you can see. And then I'm just wearing some white sneakers. For jewelry, I'm going to be putting on my coach bracelet. I'm going to put on these little earrings. Put on this gold necklace from Shein. And then I'm going to be putting on my topaz ring. This is my birthstone ring. I've had this since I was a baby. Well, the first part of the fragrance is this Gin Cham Love by Bath & Body Works. I used this to lotion down. So that's still what I smell like. And then I'm going to use, I think this is C Passion by Giorgio or Armani. And that's what I'm going to be using it to for fragrance. You should definitely put it on your shoulders. Your shoulders are actually more of a hot spot than um, your chest, your neck, your wrist, all of that. So, yeah. Put that together. And then, you know, I will give you like some little shots of the scenery because, you know, ain't no reason to be stingy, girl. Like, period. But essentially, this is the end of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like it. If you feel so inspired to do so, make sure you leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my face. Let me know how you felt about this. Get ready with me. Chit chat video my friends had some little commentary to add in on facetime but yeah thank you for watching my video have a nice day thank you